let us look into other geometric relations available in solid wax peers peers is used in most probably swept and loft commands where you want to align the sketch exactly with the intersection of the other sketch now i'll go and choose the predefined sketch which i drawn here this is the sketch which i drawn on the top plane and uh, there is a one more sketch i drawn vertically uh, vertical to this sketch i would like to exactly uh, coincide this sketch with this one that is where it intersects i want to do it there if i go and select these two entities i will get peers so peers will exactly uh, align this guide curve with this bottom section this is this is all about peers and next let us look into uh, merge points merge points here i created a sketch and uh, this line has to exactly align with this point either you can drag this or you can select these two center points and you can say i need to merge so these two points will be merged or you can also use dragging the method to apply this coincident or collinear i'm sorry coincident constraint the two ways you can apply this coincident the next one is a doubled distance which is one more interesting in solid works when you go and uh, detail any revolve section we will create dim diameter dimension representing in this way how go to dimension select this center line i'm sorry line segment and the center axis and if i drive this you will get this doubled distance we normally use for cylindrical geometries and this we called as doubled distance and the next one is offset offset we normally when we do offset entities command we get the entities offset from the selected line segment or or circle and when you apply this command you will get a constraint called as offset and on edge when you use convert entities you will have the entities copied with a relation called as on edge and next let's see uh, on plane how we can apply using solid works here i drawn a 3d sketch and i created a plane here i need to place this line segment on this plane i can select these two and i'll say on plane now the sketch is exactly positioned on the plane and now there is a one more interesting i want to locate exactly on the plane that is uh, i'm sorry i will go and say where is my sketch i'll go and choose my sketch from here here i drawn a sketch in a 3d environment and this profile can locate anywhere but specifically i want to locate on the surface you select this end point and this surface you will have on surface so this exactly will place on the surface so you can locate anywhere on the surface which means it will locate exactly on the surface and tangent to surface uh, almost same what we seen before i'll go and choose a plane here and i'll create an uh, spline and this has to be exactly tangent to this i'll select these two and i'll say it should be tangent this is a different tangent but i need tangent to face so i select this face and this spline you'll get uh, i'm sorry i'll get this uh, line and this face let's let, let's see this command in the uh, next interface because this uh, profile is not supporting let's look into the traction traction is nothing but adding relationship between two entities as as two two single unit we had seen in build and train the same we are going to see uh, in a different way that 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 means we are going to add traction a relationship where two entities will meet each other and it will have the traction so you are going to apply the relative motion between the two single block here we have one block 
the, this is one conveyor and this is one mechanism which will make the conveyor to move to and fro that is linearly now we'll choose the first circle and this bottom line segment you will get the option called as engage block or we can make it as traction but i need this line to be uh, horizontal and after applying this you can just see the traction applied on this conveyor so that's all about uh, relations let us look into one more relation called as tangent phase